Hi guys, welcome to Exquisite East TV. Did you guys miss me? I know it's been so long, but I'm back like I never left. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make this creamy Italian sausage and chicken fettuccine pasta. When I tell you I love this recipe, so let's get started right now. So we're gonna start off with our two chicken breasts and our two Italian sausages, and we're just going to cut that up into really small pieces, cause I don't want no huge chunks in there. I'ma tell you, like I just want it nice and like that. So now to my skillet, I'm just going to add some extra virgin olive oil, and I meant some garlic that I put in there, and I'm gonna cook that down for maybe about two, three minutes, and now you see me adding in my chicken and my Italian sausage, and I'm just gonna season that with some salt and pepper, just to give it some flavor you don't want no dry chicken and sausage you know so now I'm just going to toss that around and and then I'm just gonna put a top over that skillet and make sure in between time you're just uh you know tossing the chicken and the sausage around just to make sure everything is fully cooked and now I have my water that I just put some extra virgin olive oil in and a pinch of salt and now you see my chicken and my sausage is done and now you see that my water has been brought to a boil and I'm going to add my fettuccine noodles in there and you see my new skillet and I'm just putting some butter in there and making sure the butter gets all over the pan and now I'm just going to add some flour now this is the thing you have to work very very fast and I could cook this on low I do not put it on medium because you do not want the butter to brown I promise you it will not come out good if you have to cook it on super low put it on super low but you have to work very fast okay and now you have to put your heavy whipping cream and you have to work very fast in this area too. make sure you just get your whisk and you're just like whisking for your life I'm telling you like you have to do it as fast as you can to make sure everything's incorporated correctly because I promise you won't taste good if you don't do it this way so now I'm just going to add my parmesan now this is where you can get creative you can add mozzarella or whatever you want to add but personally I just like parmesan in mine so I'm just gonna add my parmesan so now this is the secret ingredient white wine I promise you the white wine makes a difference now if you don't want to add wine don't add anything but I promise you the white wine makes a difference so now here are my seasonings I have a few I don't have a lot I just have a few just to spice it up and give it some nice flavor now if you want I promise you add taste it you know see if you like it because sometimes people want extra salt sometimes people want extra pepper just do that and you know see what your taste buds like but these are my seasonings that I like to keep in there and I'm just gonna mix that up until it gets nice and thick now you can make it a little droopy but I like it thicker so since my noodles are done I am just going to put that in there I love Eddie cheese noodles I don't know why and I'm just gonna mix that around just a little bit and now I'm going to add my meat that I drained I didn't want the extra fat in there so make sure you drain the meat and I am now just going to get all that nice sauce all over the place. Doesn't it kind of look like chicken alfredo? It's not. I know it may seem like that, y'all, but it's not. And you see everything is nice and coated, and it looks super creamy. I promise you, that's why I like it like this. And now to add some color in there, I'm just going to add some parsley on top to make it look good. Then boom, you see there's some creamy Italian sausage chicken fettuccine pasta. I'm telling you, this is so good and a super easy recipe. And I serve this with garlic bread, whatever you want, girl, it's so good. And you guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I just wanna say, I so apologize for not posting videos and keeping up because I was so busy. But I do wanna tell you, I'm back and I'm better and more videos to come, bye.